Hello everyone, today we're going to have a look at the new factions module by Ninjitsu Games. So you might know Ninjitsu Games from releasing a lot of uh, multiplayer modules uh, for both Game Creator 1 and 2, mostly around Photon. Um, of course, um, a lot of you might have tried uh, the State Machine module as well. And this one is quite different. Uh, so the factions module uh, literally does what you'd expect. So it introduces uh, faction management, um, which is something I get asked about quite often. Now I did cover it uh, slightly in Game Creator 1, uh, but it's quite an elaborate setup, um, you know, requires, well, honestly, a lot of variables, uh, layers, tags, uh, the whole thing. It's not the easiest thing to set up. Um, so faction management definitely makes that uh, a lot easier and more interesting. And it does it with a couple of clicks. And I think that's why um, even if you're not doing something multiplayer related, which is supported by this module as well, by the way, um, this is something you could use for, well, to be honest, most of uh, most of your games. So uh, in this demo, we're, uh, we're seeing like orcs, goblins, elves. Um, but think of it like this. If you look at my uh, creative game series, um, you could literally just have this for guards being one faction, uh, bandits being a faction, wolves being another faction so it doesn't have to be like this typical uh, fantasy setup but you know as, as you can realize you can use this for any type of uh, game with multiple um, character types even you know GTA type games you know police being a faction uh, gangs being a faction etc so yeah really cool um, I think the whole idea is how can you easily change um, you know your relationship with factions because relationships is obviously going to be a big part of this um, you know can you um, aggravate one faction so they won't be friendly anymore and well you get the gist so let's have a let's have a quick look at um, these demo scenes because they explain it perfectly well um, so yeah this is uh, <laughs> the elves are uh, not happy with us and as you can see you can increase your reputation and they'll become neutral now these are the type of things that are really cool for any type of game um, and I think the nice thing here is the ease of use because <laughs> this is really easy to use and easy to set up. Uh, we'll have a look at that in a bit as well. Um, but I think that's kind of the point, um, you know, using my GTA example before, um, you know, aggravating the police so they're no longer uh, happy with you and, you know, going, going from neutral to friendly is something else as well. So yeah, really cool. And I think again, ease of use is key here um, because there's a lot you need to set up and um, creating your own faction system, not easy to do <laughs> normally. So um, <clears throat> yeah, really cool stuff. So for example here, um, all of these will be neutral and then um, you, know, you can uh, change uh, the goblins to friendly, for example, um, which is uh, you know, fun to do then um, you can increase or decrease or you know improve all of these uh, all of these relationships now I think the nice thing here um, is definitely the UI part um, I like that it's in the same theme as everything else um, game creator uh, related um, and yeah as you can see you can build up your uh, relationship now one of the other things I thought about as well when I was uh, playing around with this, um, you know, outside of just using this for factions, this can also just be used for relationships with characters in general. So basically you'd have your character um, being its own uh, faction and you can manage that relationship. Uh, I think there used to be for Game Creator 1 quite a popular um, third party asset that had Game Creator support for this. Um, so if you want to uh, Mass Effect style, basically improve relationships with um, with people. And yeah, that's actually really cool. Um, it's a really nice use case for something like that as well. So yeah, really, really like this. Um, and again, it's all about ease of use. Um, I know that's uh, something I say a lot, but it, it's not easy to do stuff like this um, yourself. Um, and I know that because I've you know done it uh, in the past with game creator one a lot um i haven't really gotten there with game creator two and to be fair i'll just be using this um you know because yeah the, the 
a custom setup just isn't that easy and quite often the problem as well is when you start messing around with layers and tags to do it that's how i did it with um, at least with just using visual scripting um, that brings along a lot of other limitations once you need to start using layers and tags um, because those um, will have to be used for a lot of other things um, in your project as well so yeah really uh, really cool stuff um, so yeah really uh, really simple uh, really simple example um, well you get the gist <laughs> really easy example anyway so yeah let's uh, um, we're going to have a look at um, how this uh, how this stuff is uh, set up in a uh, in a bit um, but yeah this is you know it's one of those cool cool examples of how you can have uh, factions not just regarding the player but regarding their uh, attitude towards others as well um, <laughs> really funny little gestures by the way um but yeah th this is some really cool stuff so let's uh let's have a look at how uh how things are actually uh how things are actually set up so i'll use the very uh first one now let me pick one where we actually have um the ui element as well i think that's uh that's definitely one of the nice ones so when we have a look at these uh characters um we have the uh member uh part here um you can see that um, and that was one of the things let me let me show you that again actually i think that's quite important as well um there will be some factions you can never have as a the good guy for example so um let me get out of um, full mode so um if you'd have a look at you know wolves in your uh in your game for example um you know wolves would not be um you know a relationship you can improve let's just say it like that um, so that's why you have the um, reputation points being an option, yes or no. So here, um, you know, active factions, um, neutral here, ignore reputation points. Um, and these ones have reputation points so you can improve it. Now, then you have their, um, their uh you know their relationship to the other factions which again that's something you want and this is where once you start doing this yourself this is the part where it gets really complex to be honest um and well yeah kind of where you know a module like this just really comes into play so well um so of course you know the reputation system itself that's quite elaborate um not something i, I ever even attempted um but um, you know you have their status towards uh, the player which of course is uh, is one thing but then the status towards uh, between each other um, yeah it uh, it becomes uh, it becomes quite complex and this is the part you um, you know that is really interesting of course is uh, you know the, the leave join um, so you can dynamically have um, you know characters join different factions and yeah it's uh, yeah really cool stuff um, so again, um, the triggers, um, now these are literally quite clear triggers like this, um, but this is where um, the interesting part comes into play. Um, so when you enter the trigger, um, the player will join, um, you know, join the, uh, the faction of, uh, of one of them. But if you don't even want the player to join, of course, it comes to the pickups. So increase reputation uh, on trigger enter. Um, the player faction um, you know their reputation increases and I think that's definitely um, what you'll be using the most um, outside of the faction stuff and I'm just thinking of Starfield of course you can literally join factions but not in every type of game the player will actually be joining factions so it's about increasing their um, you know their relationship and the uh, the reputation so yeah it's uh, yeah just really cool stuff so if we'd have a look at um, I think it's the orc. So they're all hostile right now. Um, where's orc? So now it becomes friendly towards the uh, the player. And then if we um, let's have a look at yeah, don't save the, just the reputation uh, system. This is where uh, for me the the most interesting part basically. Um, is you know just how you increase the reputation 
um, amongst them. So this is the uh, elves. So hostile towards the, the player. Um, wait, let me join this. And then we become neutral and friendly. And th this is the part I personally like the most because this is, um, you know, what for my own game I'll be using uh, for guards, for example. So, you know, every crime you commit, well, you can already see how this is going to work. It's going to decrease your relationship every, um, and then over time, it will slowly um, reset to, uh, back to neutral. So, you know, this is what uh, definitely the use case I'll be using the most. Um, and as you can see, it's just a number value, which I'm so happy with, um, because that means I can have it just um, increase uh, decrease over time um, so we can go back to uh, go back to neutral. So yeah, really, really cool stuff. Um, and yeah, I mean that's that's kind of the the thing. I, don't get me wrong, there's there's more to it, but this is actually part of what I like so much about this module. It's just that easy to set up. There's um, you know it, it there's not that much to it in terms of um, what you need to do. Um, it's just really easy to add. Um, characters to uh, two factions so no uh, no layer setup no uh, tag setup which again is really nice because there's already so many things you um, you'll be doing with that um, and um, yeah it's just uh, incredibly incredibly easy so um, yeah I'm, I'm really excited about this module I'll be using this myself um, and I think to be honest that for the create a game series I'll just be using this um, Initially, I wanted to do a custom setup. This just makes things so much easier. Um, and when I say so much easier, I mean, I could not do this with a simple custom setup. It's just not uh, not possible. Um, and it would require quite the elaborate video. So um, watch out for this module in the uh, Create a Game series. I'll be doing a proper video how to set this up start to finish, um, simply because, yeah, this is definitely uh, the way forward. Um, absolutely great module um, definitely recommend it for anyone doing any type of open world game um, where you'd you know you'd have factions or not even open world games where you just want to have relationships with people that you want to increase and you know the people are actually their own separate faction um, I, I think this can be used for a lot of different things so yeah um, great module recommended to anyone um, I was a bit late with this video so as of today this is still on sale so if you see this video today you can still pick it up on sale um, and I honestly recommend you to do so because it's pretty awesome so thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next one